Guys? What? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just done sprint planning um, like we usually do. Uh, the phone stopped working for some reason, so we were recording this in the afternoon, weirdly. I don't know, it just the screen went blank. It was, it was a disaster. But it's working now, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> But anyway, Jack, what are you up to this week? Uh, yeah, this week I've just finished off pretty much all the artwork for Steampunk, so I'm just giving them all a once over before Lee has to test them all out. But apart from that, I'm not really sure. It's kind of a bit of an easy week for me, so I'm kind of going to jump between Athena or do some more backlogging for Chronic Pixels. Just depends how I feel, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good for me. Um, Starting is going to be Hexseed, because we have Hexseed DLC coming out on Friday. And there's still a couple of levels to do for that, so I'm going to get that finished up and tied up by midweek. Um, other than that though, is a lot of root work as well, so I'm in the process of emailing some uh, press news websites to try and get them interested in uh, doing a view of our game, and then towards the end of the week as well, we'll be dropping out keys to all the Patreons as well as that. Um, I think some more root stuff as well. Um, oh yeah, touching up the trailer and the store page as well towards the end of the week as well, because that didn't get finished when I was doing that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, sounds good. It is our, our last week before our break for Christmas, isn't it? So I'm going to be doing a fair bit of loop work, a lot of bug bug fixes that need to happen, um, a lot of level creation, um, and we kind of need to get it sent off to Steam, the actual build, right, because you haven't done that, which means localization and all that lovely stuff. There's so much to do. There's so much to do. And our Christmas tree lights have stopped working. It's very tragic. <laughs> Okay, so I've been working a lot on bug fixing today. So there's quite a lot of stuff that Lee picked up on when he was streaming on Friday that I've just been sort of trying to sort. So one of the main ones was on this diamond level. Um, it was a bit awkward. The, it got to basically like, it kept zooming out every instruction that you did. It zoomed out further and further um, until a point where it just wasn't playable. But that's been fixed now. Basically just removed the auto zooming functionality since we've got this uh, fairly nice sort of panning, automated panning stuff. So we're just going to opt with that and it lets you control the zoom as well, it lets the player have some control of that as well. So that's working. A couple of other things, um, the red X is back now. Um, so when you get an instruction wrong, that little red X appears, which is quite nice. Other than that, I've been working on some stuff because basically Lee's actually sent off some keys to uh, some reviewers today so we need to have the game looking as good as it can possibly be so now we've got this little arrow to basically show you that you can start playing on a level and um, this is to sort of solve the problem we've got where if we haven't started a level yet then there's no screenshot for it to have in the background so if I back out there it's going to take a screenshot of that and then uh, which one was that that was treehouse here yeah. um, there are little dots that you can see that from the screenshot. So it's just to sort of get around that, and when you actually start making progress, it removes all of that, so you see the 15% there. Other stuff, um, so we've got lots of galleries in the game, but a lot of levels haven't been done yet. So on the galleries that don't have a lot of levels complete, I've added these coming soon buttons. Just placeholders, we'll be swapping these out for actual levels later on, but it's just an indication of how much content there is actually gonna be in the game, because otherwise it just kind of looked a bit dull and boring, especially when you got to like Gallery 5, which is just completely empty at the moment. So I've gone ahead and done that as well. So lots of little bits that I've been doing are just going to be pretty much the same, I think, all week. It's just going to be lots of little tasks that uh, just need sewing. Okay, so sorry for the lack of updates yesterday. I pretty much spent the entire day tweaking the Steampunk DLC, and I've got all the colour counts down to a pretty fair amount now, so now it's ready for Lee to check through them, make sure they play okay. But recently I've just been finishing off this massive image here, the um, the Mall Engines-esque image. It's coming along nicely, like I said, just takes a long time to fill in all the details, but the city itself is pretty much done. I just need to fill in the details on the rim of the wheel and do the background and that should be done. Um, I also thought I'd show off this image as I don't think I'd actually showed you the pixel art sprite image I did for the Steampunk DLC, I think I left it at home. So this is the little cart I did. I think this is the cart that's actually riding the bank, the bank, the bike, and the bike image. But yeah, it's all coming along nicely now. I just need to finish off this last image and put it in uni and tweak it. Cool. So what I've been, what have I been up to? Uh... <laughs> yeah. So I've been pretty busy today. Lots of bug fixing. Lots of um, little nice touches that we've sort of been adding as well. Um, basically, just been trying to update the builds as quickly as possible. So one of the things I looked at was when. We've got this, like a DLC pop-up. Uh, before they, this had 
the one year pass that we were originally planning on doing, um, there was a link to that, but we're not doing that anymore, so that needed removing, we didn't want to give any misleading information. Um, updated the settings page to be more consistent with the rest of the UI, so like this top bar is basically kept the same. Um, the same with the credits, and I've updated the credits um, for the Patreons as well. Jack's still missing, why is Jack still missing? Dude, Jack is in that box, but the box is too small, I'll fix that. Um, but yeah, a couple of other things as well, so in the actual settings I've added some new things to play around with, so we've got um, instruction scale, so now you can actually upscale the instructions um, that are on screen and you can change the movement speed of the mouse as well. Um, so this is probably going to be an awful configuration, but we'll try it. Yeah, there you go, it's very big, and then this moves really fast so you can't control it. Um, but if you've got a low sensitivity mouse, then that might be for you. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I actually got some really cool updates and um, I actually managed to finish off the ringed city design I've got here, the city that's essentially based in a giant wheel. It took a very long time to fill in all this detail around the edges here but we got there in the end and I'm actually really happy with the piece. I couldn't decide yesterday whether I liked it or not but now that I've came back into the office and seen it again, I'm really appreciating the design. And yesterday I also did this new version of a steampunk dock. This is an image that's going to replace the steampunk bar exterior. I didn't like that image and I was struggling to fix it. I didn't want to waste any more time trying to fix it that it may not even come out well. So I just made a new image altogether. And I really like this one. It's quite a, it's not too small, but it's a nice medium image to fill in the book. And it kind of goes with the same aesthetic as the steampunk airport. So I really like that. And from now today, I'm going to get on with the Happy New Year image that we're going to be releasing around Christmas time, I think, around Christmas New Year's time. So I'm going to get to work on that today. Lots of fireworks, so it may take a little while, but hopefully not too long. Yeah, okay, so today I've been working on localization, trying to get that sorted. So we have had trouble with localization in the past, so I was dreading it a bit. Um, but I did manage to get it working relatively easily. I say relatively. <laughs> it did fail a couple of times. There was trouble in putting the packages um, and then when I was doing a build it wasn't actually propagating through to the build properly. All issues that we've dealt with before but I have actually managed to get it working and um, that's why I've got this little drop down in the top right here with all the different languages we're going to do um, and if I press them nothing happens. Let's go on to a page where I've actually done the localization stuff. There we go yeah so it pops up with no translation for all of the settings and stuff. I've got there. Unfortunately, we have had to update the the version unit um, version of Unity that we're using. So we've moved it up to the branch um, that we're using for Athena. Uh, but yeah, it's just been a matter of going through the whole game and um, just trying to link everything up with the localization system, really. Okay, so this afternoon I've been working on the Happy New Year image. It's taking a little while as the image ended up being quite large than I thought. Um, we ended up putting some landmarks in the background just to symbolise well the world really and it's looking it's coming out quite nice and um, it was pretty much finished but we decided to change the logo as the font didn't really match the aesthetic so i'm working on a new one now and this one's almost done and i may even add a few more fireworks around just to brighten up the image a bit not sure until the last recording came through uh, we're having an issue with it being a little bit cold in the office the phone occasionally just shuts off because it's a bit too cold to keep the power running um but yeah, uh, what I've been doing this morning is I've been finishing up the rest of the Hexseed stuff because I managed to finish the levels last night. Rob's been testing them as well and they're pretty much good to go. So I've been doing all the side tasks that go alongside it. So the achievements there, they've all been put live. Um, so yeah, the phone died again. And since the last time I was showing what I've been doing, uh, Steam just sent off over some um, sale graphics, which is quite nice. They are kind of hit and miss on when they do that, but uh, thankfully they've sent some over well in advance for the winter sale, so I've just gone ahead and made those game related for us and got them tied to the announcements as well. Um, but yeah, other than just announcements today, what I've gone and done is uh, I've tested the New Year image, the bonus image that I've been working on. Um, some minor tweaks, but the image is ready to go now, so that's in the build for Rob to, to make live on New Year's. Uh, the post itself isn't actually scheduled, you can see there. Um, Rob's going to be making that live manually on New Year's Eve, I believe he said. So, um, that's where the version number is missing as well. Uh, but yeah, that's ready to go for the new year. And again, some uh, advertisement of Rue by the bottom there. All right, so it is day two of localization hell. I've been making some pretty good progress. I, I don't think there's actually that much more to do. Um, honestly, I think most of the back end is working. So all of these level names and the words like pins and ropes and stuff like that, that's all localized. Um, and I've actually tied together 
the names for the first gallery because that's all sorted um, but you see if I go to gallery 2 I haven't started that one yet and it just says long level title which is, I guess is like the default um, then if I go ahead and change which language it should update but it's not these these, these pin words should update but um, everything else seems to be oh right is it because I've done this I've got a button now <gasps> it's not working why is it not working it is, isn't it? Just this bit isn't. Oh. Still stuff to do anyway. Um, I'm getting there though. And this localization table hasn't been filled out at all. So that's going to be a huge task for me to do tomorrow and probably um, most of tonight actually as well. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. A few moments later. Okay, okay. So it's um, it's all working now. Uh, there was just a small problem where it was trying to load some of the levels that. I hadn't done yet, it was trying to find a localization value for them and because it wasn't set up properly, um, it was erroring out. So first of all, I fixed that error and now I've actually populated it all with the right thing anyway. So I just wanted to fix the error just in case. We run into that later, later down the line, but um, everything for now should be all set up and configured properly. Uh, I was saying that there's um, we've got this language drop down thing as well. This actually needs to be done um, for us to get the game approved by Steam, the actual build to get approved. So I've, I've gone ahead and added this. Uh, so in theory, click that, changes the language. Everything gets changed to uh, no translation for, uh, because there's, it's not, the data's not entered yet. And yeah, I think that's just gonna be my job now is entering all of this data as much as possible. So yeah, just to wrap up the week, I've been going over the uh, tasks for the Wooloop store page. Um, so, Obviously, you can see here the screenshots been updated to show the updated UI and obviously some of the new images as well because these weren't created when the initial store page was made. As well as that, obviously, you can't show here, but I've gone through and localized all the store pages as well because obviously, a couple of weeks ago, we updated uh, this section here that had the GIFs and the extra text, uh, but that hadn't been updated across the different languages, so I've gone ahead and been updating that bit by bit. And what I've just finished off with doing is the soundtrack. Um, that's been sat there uh, ready to go. Just been finishing that up, getting the assets ready for that, and getting that uploaded and sent off to Steam as well. So hopefully, uh, when we come back in the new year, we'll have the st soundtrack store page ready as well, and that can be going live at the same time as the actual game. Yeah, okay, so we've hit a pretty big milestone with Wooloop. So I've finally managed to get a localization uh, done working and set up. So I filled in that huge table that I was showing you all yesterday. Then you've got the drop down here and everything updates um, when you change the language now, which is really, really cool. Um, and that was the last major step that we needed to submit the game to Steam for approval, which I've just done now. Um, there is one slight problem, but I think it'll still be all right um, for them to uh, pass pass the game. Um, and that's basically, uh, yeah. And the problem is that the the game is looking a lot washed out. And I think that's just because when we were trying to get the localization package working in Unity, we had to update the version that we were running on. Uh, and that is basically messed up with the colours a bit. So balloons, you know, balloon, balloons look washed out. Yeah, just the colours look really washed out. Um, I have fixed it a little bit, uh, but I don't think the colours are 100% to where they were before the update. I think it's very similar, but it's not quite 100%, so we'll have to see if there's any knock-on effects on that. But but yeah, everything's submitted. We're good, we're good to go. Do you know what's thought as a bit of a joke with the uh, employee of the year? It's now become a bit of a thing. <laughs> Here's a third one. There's also a little one on Jack's desk for him, but he's not in today, so you have to get that when he comes back for Christmas. Um, I think Jack is the artist of the year, isn't it? Yeah, because he's the only artist. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not the only employee, so this now means something. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas! It's Christmas! <laughs> so yeah, it's the end of the week. Um, it's been wrapping up for the year, because it's the last day we're working for this year. Um, mostly been Wuduk. That's what we're forcing on, right? Yeah, yeah, because um, we've got Wooloop coming out two weeks into January, right? So please make sure you wish list. Please, 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 we'll put so much time and effort into it. Uh, fingers crossed it'll all be done in time. It'll be done in time. I don't know why I said that, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, pretty good. So um, this is our last week, like Lee just said. So um, I think there'll, there'll be, this devlog will be coming out just before Christmas, but yeah. then there'll be a couple of weeks gap and then we'll be back in the new year, basically. Yeah, it'll be like the second week of January. Um, well, second Friday of January, depending on when the week starts. It's yeah. when the video coming out. As I said at the beginning, Merry Christmas. Thanks to everyone who's watched all the way through the year, if you have. Um, it's been quite a big year. Quite yeah. a lot happened. Got yeah, Jack, yeah. 
Jack's got involved. Um, but like, effectively released two games, haven't we? I'm got a new office. Yeah, it's been a big year. It's been pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and so as always, thank you very much to the patrons. Couldn't be here without you guys. Um, really helps a lot. And thank everyone in the Discord as well. Keeping on track with the advent calendar in Cone Pixels. Counting down the days of Christmas. 